Deciding on a paddle isn't like buying a house, getting married, or deciding to have kids. No, this is important. And at Selkirk, we take it seriously. Hi, I'm Morgan Evans, and I'm here at the Selkirk studio today to help you decide which of the three Selkirk lines and new paddles are right for you. One of our goals at Selkirk is to have the right paddle for every player. And with that in mind, we have three distinct lines that offer various attributes to suit your needs. There's the SLK line that provides the weekend warrior with a formidable weapon at an incredible price point. The tried and true Vanguard line that now includes the next generation Power Air series. And lastly, the Selkirk Labs line that features our bleeding edge tech as requested by our Labs membership. Let's begin with the SLK line. This is our budget friendly option that gives the everyday player some serious power and spin to work with. I think if you're new to the game or just don't have all the time in the world to really let the addiction take hold, then these paddles are a fantastic entry point. The new SLK Omega represents Selkirk Labs reaching the mainstream market. You'll get much of the same technology that you see in both the Vanguard Power Air and Labs projects, but at a lower price point. For me, the standout tech is the dual carbon and fiberglass face. I took this for a test drive for a weekend, and the best word I can use to describe it is reliable. For such a thin paddle, I was surprised how little vibration actually got to my hand. I had a lot more power than I expected, but more importantly, I was getting that power reliably. Regarding the spin, it's good. More than the original Vanguard, but don't expect the same revolutions as the Labs or Power Air paddles. Now, you may think, well, don't I want more spin just in case I develop that heavy top spin forehand? To answer that, you first need to ask yourself, can I afford to trade any of my power in order to get more spin? There are no free lunches, you know. If you hit a flat ball and you want to maximize your power for $140, you can't go wrong with the SLK Omega. This paddle released exclusively in the new Max hybrid shape. In terms of dimensions, it's a nice cross between the Epic and the S2. Have a look at the exact specs here. Time to move up in price, options, and technology. The Vanguard line has officially matured. Our little baby is all grown up and ready to take center stage with the Power Air. This is the culmination of two years of R&D alongside pros such as Tyson McGuffin, and it satisfies the need for the ideal combination of power and spin. Much of this paddle came from the Selkirk Labs 002, which I personally used for months. I loved it, but it was a love-hate relationship. Great power, great responsibility, right? Well, I've never been particularly responsible with serves, drives, and martinis, so I really needed something to help me control those shots. The Power Air had the answer, and it's been my go-to weapon of choice since first sight. Regarding the technologies that make this an engineering marvel, well, once again, you have our Labs membership base to thank. We took the ProSpin Plus and the QuadFlex hybrid face from the 002 and added some secret source. There's a million scrabble points in most of this, so just bear with me. You've got Aero Dura Edge edgeless technology, Air Dynamic Throat, and a Super Core. Yes, you heard me, a Super Core. I think they were going to call it Really Great Core, but that just didn't seem quite as catchy, I guess. For me, however, the biggest differences come from the Flex Foam Perimeter and the new Proto 360 molding technology. Combined, these two do a remarkable job of enhancing the sweet spot and making the paddle feel incredibly solid. It feels like a one-piece masterpiece. And any time I accidentally grounded the paddle, I was more concerned about the court surface, not the paddle edge. It's rock solid. The most obvious effect for me was noticed in cross-court dinks. I felt much more in control of the ball speed and trajectory. I also felt like it being edgeless made it more maneuverable, and with the bigger smiley face in the throat, my preferred weight, 8.7 ounces, felt a lot more like 8 ounces. 
I felt the exact same spin levels as I got from the 002, which is amazing. Here's the catch though, and trust me, it's a great catch. It's got 5-10% to less power than the ungodly amounts in the 002, but it's got about 30-40% to more control. That sounds like a great deal to me, and that's why I'm using it. Please note that I'm using the Invicta shape in both models at the same weight, so it is an apples to apples comparison. The Vanguard Power Air is available in three iconic shapes, the Epic, the S2, and the Invicta. I'll talk more about the differences of each model towards the end of the show, so stay tuned. For now though, it's time to talk about the latest installment in Selkirk Labs. Please welcome the new recruit in the battle to keep the ball in, Project 003. It strays away from the sheer unadulterated power that 002 brought to the party, instead focusing on the touch and feel that became the hallmark features of the amped and vanguard lines. What it does, however, is a little bit of magic. This paddle marries the industry-leading spin rates that both the 002 and Vanguard Power Air have with a thicker, more forgiving core. The result is playability like no other. It's buttery soft when you need it to be. And let's all be honest with ourselves for just a moment. We need some control in our lives. Ball speeds have gotten a little out of hand the first thing you'll notice about the 003 is that it's the first in the labs line to be edgeless. It's also the thickest paddle in the market. 20 millimeters is pushing the envelope, no doubt about it. But hit one ball with it and you'll agree with me that the level of feel in this paddle is unlike anything else out there. It's truly amazing and I think I'll be using it for coaching because the precision and forgiveness on off-center shots could indeed convince my students that I've still got it. The air dynamic throat is on full display, but it feels like the flex foam perimeter is really what is expanding the sweet spot, giving a reliable height and direction to the ball. Okay, are you ready for one of my completely relevant car analogies? Great. Tell me, what do you think is the fastest car in the world? The answer of course is a rental car. Yes, that four cylinder compact car from Hertz lets you use all the guts, while that Ferrari you are dreaming about will barely let you feather the throttle before the cops are chasing you. The 003 lets you take serious swings at the ball, and although it has the same spin capabilities of the 002 and the Power Air, it allows you to spin more aggressively, with less risk of overpowering the shot, or having the sheriff on your tail. If you've got a naturally long swing and possess plenty of power, then this is your paddle. If you take great pleasure in the art of dinking, or your natural reaction to being attacked is to reset the ball, again, this is the paddle for you. The 003 is out now in the Epic and S2 shape, with the Invicta model releasing in October 2022. When comparing the 003 to the Power Air, I want you to think of the weather forecast. When you see that there's a 60% chance of rain, one might assume that it means exactly that, that there's a 60% chance that you'll get rained on. Believe it or not, that's not what they're saying. It means that 60% of your area is going to get rain. Well, with the 003, there's a 90% chance that it will rain, and it will rain gold medals. The Power Air has a 70% chance of thunder and lightning, and lastly, with the Project 002 in your hand, there's a 30% chance of complete Armageddon. Here's a chart that should help you decide which line and which paddle will be right for you. Don't be afraid to take a screenshot. As you can see at the top end of the power scale, but with the smallest sweet spot, is the 002. The Power Air Invicta is a close second for power, but adds a significantly larger sweet spot for added control, and the Epic and S2 shapes are in line with their traditional shape attributes. The same trend is seen in the 003 line, with the S2 having the most control, and the Invicta having the most power. If you're tossing up between the Epic and the S2 in either line, firstly, ask yourself if you are currently or plan to use a two-handed backhand. If so, 
the Epic is your model, or the Invicta if you're happy with a slight control for power trade-off. So there you have it, the latest and greatest from Selkirk, in a nutshell. As always, we want you to be 100% confident you've got the right paddle in your hand. I hope this has helped you come to the right conclusion on which paddle is right for you, and if you're still not sure, simply reach out to us and we'll help you locate one of our many advocates so that you can try out a Selkirk paddle today. Until next time, I'm Morgan Evans for Selkirk Sport.